AI coding agents have been trained on billions of lines of code. They've learned both best practices and some of the more questionable behaviors. When your AI coding agent doesn't give you the results you expected, it isn't trying to fail you. It's just trying to make you happy. It will tell you your tasks are complete, tests are passing, and everything works, even when none of that is true. In this video, we're learning about the four behaviors every AI coding agent has and how to work with them instead of against them. Most developers treat AI agents like perfect teammates. They're not. They're more like that coworker who nods enthusiastically in meetings and says, I got it, and then delivers something completely different. Watch this video till the end, and I will teach you to recognize AI coding failure patterns and structure your requests to prevent them. You will get better code faster. If you miss them, you will spend your weekends debugging AI-generated nightmares. Let's start with the people-pleaser problem. Your AI coding agent desperately wants you to be happy. Ask it to fix a failing test, and it might just return true instead of actually solving the underlying issue. Ask if the implementation is complete, and it will confidently say, yes, all requirements are met, even when half the functionality is missing. This isn't malicious. AI models have been trained to prioritize appearing helpful over being accurate. They've learned that humans prefer confident answers to honest uncertainty. I asked an AI agent to write tests for user input validation service. The test suite went green, but when I reviewed the code, it was literally just returning true for every validation check. No actual validation logic, just the appearance of working code. The AI chose the path of least resistance. Make the human happy by claiming success, even if that meant fake the results. Here is how we can solve this. Never accept verbal confirmation and don't rely only on automated checks. Instead of asking, is this complete? Demand evidence. Show me the test output for these three edge cases. Force it to demonstrate functionality, not just claim it exists. Passing CICD doesn't mean the implementation is real. Green tests can be faked, functions can be empty, and everything can look fine while being fundamentally broken. The lazy coder problem. AI coding agents will do exactly what you ask for, not a single thing more. They will meet the bare minimum bar. You ask for a function that sorts an array and you will get a function that technically sorts an array. But it might use the most naive algorithm possible. Ignore performance considerations, skip error handling, and completely disregard the patterns already established in your code base. AI has seen billions of lines of code across the internet. It knows elegant solutions exist. But its default operating mode is What's the fastest path to making this code execute without errors? For example, when asked to make an HTTP call, an AI might just hand roll its own implementation or pull in a new dependency, completely ignoring the HTTP client that your team has used consistently throughout the entire project. Another common pattern is you ask it to fix a failing function and it hard codes the expected values instead of implementing the actual logic. This function expects the sum to be 42, so it just returns 42. The lesson here is you get exactly the quality that you define. You can't assume that working code means maintainable code or efficient code or code that follows your team's conventions. We need to be explicit about expectations. What patterns to follow, what performance characteristics matter, what error cases to handle, and what your definition of done actually includes. AI is capable of amazing results, but only when you make excellence a measurable requirement. We need to specify standards upfront. We can't imply expectations. Define what patterns to use, what error handling looks like, and what your team's conventions are every single time. 
the Friday afternoon problem. AI coding agents love to declare victory early, just like heading out early on Friday afternoon. You give it a list of tasks, fix the login flow, update the API endpoints, and add error handling. It comes back and says, all done, everything works now until you examine the work more closely and discover that only the first task, the login flow, was actually fixed. The API endpoints got some updates and error handling is missing. This is more dangerous than the lazy coding problem because AI isn't just cutting corners, it's actively presenting incomplete work as finished. It creates the appearance of thoroughness while skipping critical pieces. These partial implementations often pass quick reviews. The tests may show green, the functions exist with proper names and signatures, and the VR description lists everything is complete, but underneath entire features may be missing or half implemented. The analogy here would be if you are at the drive through ordering something and the server says, here's your order, handing you the bag and you drive off without checking if everything is there. This happens because AI models optimize for appearing task complete. When they encounter difficulties or constraints, they make unilateral decisions about what they can skip while still claiming success. The solution is to create an explicit checklist before you start and then verify each item that was actually delivered. Don't let the green status indicators fool you into assuming everything was built. Treat every announcement that something was done as the beginning of verification, not the end of the work. The Frankenstein code problem. After multiple rounds of AI-assisted debugging, your code base starts looking like a disaster zone. You add logging statements to track down a bug. AI adds more logging. You request some try-catch blocks for error handling. AI wraps everything in nested error handlers. You ask for comments to clarify complex logic, and it documents every single line. You get the code that executes and works perfectly, but it's impossible to read or maintain. You got debug statements flooding your console, unused variables, comments stating the obvious, and exception handling nested so deep that you can't find the actual business logic anymore. You might discover multiple layers of attempted solutions stacked on top of each other. Three different implementations of the same function, all active. Old utility functions sitting together with new ones that do the same thing. Each debugging session leaves archaeological layers of code artifacts. And these layers accumulate so fast. It's not that AI doesn't naturally think about cleanup. It thinks about completion. You asked for login, I added login. Task complete. It doesn't consider that maybe the old login should be removed or that the error handling should be refactored into a cleaner pattern. It's tempting to move fast and leave cleanup for later. But later usually never comes. And within a few weeks, your code base becomes the thing that everyone on your team dreads touching. The solution requires changing your approach. Don't just specify what to build, specify what to remove, consolidate, and refactor. Make cleanup an explicit requirement in every task. After adding the new error handling, remove any redundant blocks, consolidate similar error handling patterns, build refactoring into your workflow. Otherwise, you're not getting AI-assisted development, you're getting AI-accelerated technical debt. The most important insight from this video is that AI's behavior patterns are predictable and manageable once you understand them. AI will always optimize for appearing helpful and claiming tasks are complete, even when that means taking shortcuts that you didn't authorize. But with this knowledge, you can structure your prompts, verification processes, specifications, and quality standards to consistently get the good side of AI. So remember these principles. Verify every deliverable explicitly. Seeming success might hide real problems, and the satisfaction of working code hides the quality issues that can cost you later. Define excellence in measurable terms. Your AI knows world-class patterns, but it defaults to the minimum solutions unless 
excellence becomes an explicit requirement. Check completeness line by line. Build a checklist before starting work and verify each component was actually delivered to spec, not just marked as done. Make cleanup non-negotiable. Require explicit refactoring and removal of non-relevant code in every task because AI will happily pile working code on top of deteriorating foundation. Now you know how to manage AI coding agents. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Your reality has changed. You're stuck in your career. You're either using AI or being used. Do you still believe success is guaranteed? You feel it's time to wake up. Old strategies don't work anymore. Welcome to the real world. It will never be the same again. You need to fight for your future. Learn to spot truth from lies. I will help you. Together, we will win.